good morning good afternoon good evening yeah I'm just back here in line with the simple message I just want to talk something about faith uh, and what I want to say is guys the Bible has promised that our faith will be tested faith has to be tested if there is an exam that God has promised that he's, it's going to come to the whole entire world Christians, anyone who calls themselves a Christian, your faith and my faith will be tested. So it's something we should expect that what you believe has to be shaken. And, and I think why the Bible says so is because on the other side of the spectrum lies the devil. There is a devil. And he's not happy that we believe in God and the promises of God. So he's working on the other side. So the, the, the reason the Bible says our faith shall be tested is because of Satan and his demons. Otherwise, who is testing our faith? You know, why, why is it necessary? So t what I want to say right now, the whole world is under a very serious test. And it's happening all over the globe so it's a time of um, I can say in the spirit it's a time of great woe you know what I mean or let me put it this way it's a time of travail it's a time of testing uh, it's a it's a form of tribulation going through uh, headaches and trouble and this is happening at a country level governments tested everyone is getting tested in a great way so what I came to say here it's a very short message is to encourage you that when you see the testing being done to you do not give up hope it is not time to lose the little faith that you have so if you're a person of faith I'm encouraging you if you're tested in in a certain way then you know my faith is being tested all of us have been tested it is time just to to, to increase the gear if you were in gear 2 you know for us who, who drove manual cars long ago it's that it's the next time to go higher because you're being tested it is no time to go backwards you know like let me move backwards to show you it's not time to say I'm being tested um, I have to I have to go and I'll give a simple example if for example you're a boxer a person who plays boxing you've been training for a game and then you know you have to fight a series of games to win you know several belts and now the first game is on and now you reach the ring at the ring and you, then you back off I can't fight you, be, you, you, you become afraid and back off then what was the use of training you know what I mean so let's go back to our faith the only reason we go to church every Sunday the only reason we we'll listen to preachers now and then is to build up faith that's the only reason we, we read we read the Word of God we listen to people who, who who can help us to build faith that's the whole purpose it's all about faith folks end of the day think why do we do what we do it's our faith has to be strong cemented and solid but what happens is the Bible has promised your faith and my faith will be tested not once, not twice, many times over. And I remember uh, Apostle Peter says, be happy when you're tested. Be happy when your faith is tested. Why should we be happy when going through trouble? Going through a lot of trouble because of faith. Our faith in God is being tested. He, say, he says, because that faith has some fruit. When you're tested, the faith brings endurance. It brings some very good fruit. And those fruits just makes your faith better for the next fight. Okay, my, my, my people? So, there is a great, great trial going on in the whole world and to all people at an individual level. And my worry and my indeed i pity the people who have zero faith because i don't know where they're running to i don't know whom they're talking to i don't know where they're getting their strength from i do not know but we me and you we have faith but we are also being tested it's no time to 
give up on faith now there is no church because of distancing so it's time i go buy a crate of beer and i can have it at home then even the little faith you had is gone oh i am under lockdown there is nothing to do i've watched all the series on television okay then you start doing experiments and you log in into pornography your faith is going to weaken you will be attacked you will fall but I'm not here to condemn. I'm just here to, to bring some um, insight. When you're tested, it's time to hold on to that faith. I'll go back to my example. We said, you've been training to, to fight like a, like, like a wrestler or a boxer. You will fight many fights. When you go to the ring, fight that battle. You may not win, but you will get a second title, right? And then you, you will go back to training. Sometimes God does not expect us to always win, even in faith. We sometimes lose, but we fight. So the Bible has actually said, Jesus prayed. If you remember, he said, I pray that your faith does not fail. There is a difference of faith failing. That means you give up. And there is a difference you are fighting. Though you may not win, but there is incremental wins. And remember, your, your muscles are getting exercised. You're becoming better. You may fail once, you may fail twice. Keep fighting, keep fighting. So I'm here to encourage a lot of people who are online. Thank you so much for joining and those who will be seeing it. Very simple message. Your faith is being tested. Please do not let it fail. It is not time to take steps backwards like this you know become weak just because the gym has been removed you know what i mean if you were training to become a boxer and you were in the gym and you had a trainer and you had equipment the trainer is a pastor the gym is a church the equipment is bible fellowship now because of lockdowns and all the restrictions maybe the gym has been removed there is no church gatherings because of the limit and the pastor is only coming online, maybe he's not physically able to talk to you. Just because those things have been removed does not mean you don't have faith. There is the faith you have received since you became a Christian for many years. It is high time to, to, to fight now. Why have we been going to church? Why have we been listening to video after video? What's the point? You know what I mean? Like, what's the point of training to be a boxer for so long? And when you go for your, your, your match that you need to fight, then you back off. It's almost like zero work, right? So when you're tested, maybe a job loss, maybe family problems, because families have problems. And that's where especially Satan is. Parents, brothers, sisters, aunties uncles that's, that's a big area friends you know he comes close to to the people close to you so when you find yourself tested what do you do you go back to god and cry oh my god why am i going through this it's like you going back to the trainer in the gym and say oh why 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 are you organizing a match that's why you're getting trained to fight many matches many wins and then there is a final win when we cross over to the other side, that is heaven. It's a final graduation. But there is little, little graduation fights. So Christians, we are not made to complain. We are not made to, to, to keep asking God questions because you lost a job, because you don't have money, because your health has failed. No. We move forward. We fight because we know many fights will be coming. So our work is to go to the gym daily in the Word of God, daily in prayer, daily in fasting and prayer. Because fights will come. So, you know, for me, I'll give you a secret. I prepare myself because I know war is on the way. So I prepare myself in advance. You know what that means? Do you remember the five virgins? Some were called foolish. Why? They were not preparing in advance. They were Christians, yeah. They were, were they born again? Yeah. Were they expecting Jesus to come? Yeah. But there is something they did not do. 
you did not carry the fuel right but the other guys the other five were wise why they prepared for a battle that's what i do i'm, I'm not gonna wait until I, I am sick to fast i fast before so when i'm sick i can't pray well that time i can't reason i'm just quiet i know my prayers prayers of yesterday my gym yesterday's gym is working for me don't wait until when satan and the world and problems come up build up before build up now build up your your muscles now go buy the oil go buy the oil because the hour of trouble you know trouble does not say hey uh, let me let me see who is online here aaron or joseph joseph trouble will not call you and say uh text you before hi uh aaron and joseph i will be coming you will be getting ma malaria next two weeks so get prepared it doesn't happen trouble just comes up poof like like you know what happened to job one morning he was praying job was preparing repenting sacrificing repenting the sins of his kids and and even saying whatever lord they may have thought in their brain in their heart that is blasphemy forgive them he was praying all along but when trouble came he did not know it's satan he thought it's just trouble trouble came like thunder pa, 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 one after the other so trouble comes like that you know suddenly you hear oh your your, your sister has died for no reason that's trouble so i'm here to tell you guys uh do not worry about what's going on that's you know we, we've been prepared for so long by god it's time just to fight do not give in do not weaken up guys do not we it's not time to become weak you have been trained you have faith you have faith you know god you know the word of god Thing, things are looking very tough things are looking different it's stressful it's it's um it's times of tension and the only reason i am saying this watch and take it from me in the next couple of years because of the stress in the world and people have lost faith you'll see a lot of mental problems because people will come out crazy schizophrenic lunatics the hospitals will be inundated or, or you know overwhelmed with just people who are stressed out because people did not prepare themselves um in advance before troubles uh striked so i'm here just to encourage you guys do not worry i know it's hard i know it's stressful but remember you have faith hold on to it do not weaken up strengthen up move in fact you should in, in fact what happens is like when you're faced with trouble you should increase remember david is facing goliath now this is what he has been training in the forest he has been training with slings at one time he's, he he was using the sling he killed a lion he killed killed the bear but now here is a 6 foot no 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 i think goliath was pretty not 6 foot he was like 8 foot here he is but he did not back up and say ah this guy is bigger than a lion he's so experienced he just moved into what we call uncharted territory he did not know but he said in he said in the name of the lord i come against you so when you face goliath when you face trouble it's time just to to to, to move forward it may not make sense it may be very very illogical it may not make any sense just in the name of the lord i'm gonna face this one too and guess what happens see what god did after he fought that battle he became the general commander of saul in the army in the army and then you know he became king and all blah 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 so faith says there is light at the end of the tunnel faith fighting in faith means you may not win but you fight because god will recognize your fighting but losing it we cannot we, we there is no way we can we can afford to lose faith we cannot lose 
faith so guys just encouraging somebody who is who is weak you know your lamp you know that lamp uh, lantern the lantern has that weak that is burning now your faith is burned up it was high as this mug now it's going down temptations trouble no fellowship oh stress the news you're watching the news every day see i'm dropping it down the flame on your week is just left like that i'm here to encourage you bring it back up bring it back up and don't look at the circumstances bring the flame up bring the flame up because after this stretch of fighting there is a belt to win and there is many more victories and battles to fight this is not the only one so you can't afford to lose or weaken your faith. Okay, I'm hoping, guys, I don't want to go long. Thank you so much for those who joined in. Uh, I thank you for listening in. And may God bless you. And keep fighting a good fight of faith. This is not the only one that you, you will be fighting. There are many others. So this is just one of the victories. Remember the victories God gave you before. You prayed and someone got healed. You prayed, you got a, a, a job 10 years ago. Why? Don't forget how far God has brought you. He has brought you as a kid and now you're an adult. You never died. There, there, there. God has done a lot in the past and he's going to do more. Why give up now? It's not time to go sin the more. The world right now needs a few righteous people. Do you agree? Remember Sodom and Gomorrah, Abraham trying to, 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 to prevent God from burning the city? And what would God say? 50 righteous men, 40, 30, 25, 5 righteous men, I'll stop it. So what do you think the world needs right now? A couple of righteous men. It's you, 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 you who is listening and me. Not everyone, but he needs a couple who will hold on to faith. So you are one of those. Uh, thank you, Paul, Masharia. I see you joined in there. So I guess I have delivered the message. I'm going to stop so that it doesn't go so long. Jesus is good. God bless you. Have a great day and see you next time. Thank you.